Americans are now eligible for a Pfizer COVID-19 vaccination booster shot. The CDC gave final approval Friday for a third shot for three groups, people 65 and older, adults at high risk of disease, and those at increased risk of exposure because of their jobs. The agency's guideline follows the FDA's decision about booster shots. In a rare move, the CDC director went against the recommendation of her advisory panel, which did not include the so-called frequent exposure group in its recommendation. CBS News's Michael George has more on the booster shot rollout. We are ready to get booster shots in arms right away. The White House task force prepared and was ready to give out doses to 20 million eligible Americans even before the CDC gave final approval Friday. As soon as I heard about the boosters, the only thing I wanted to know is where can I get it? The Texas State Fair obliged. Boosters and first and second doses will be available there for the next three weeks. Anyone 65 and older who's been fully vaccinated with the shot should get a booster after at least six months. The CDC also recommends a booster for fully vaccinated 18 through 64 year olds who work in health care or other jobs with an increased risk of exposure, like schools and nursing homes. And all vaccinated people with medical conditions, including obesity, diabetes, or pregnancy, are also eligible for a booster. At the White House, the president indicated it won't be long before boosters are available for everyone. We have the tools to beat COVID, COVID-19, if we come together as a country and use the tools we have. But the coming together may be the hard part. Deaths this week continued at a rate of more than 2,000 people a day. I want to be clear. We will not boost our way out of this pandemic. Infections among the unvaccinated continue to fuel this pandemic. In Montana, where just 48% of the population is fully vaccinated, students at the State University in Bozeman were still arguing over masks yesterday. I simply disagree that safety is better than freedom. Oh, I don't want to wear a mask. I'm vaccinated. What's the point? But now when you see the spiking rates of COVID, especially with hospitals being filled right now, I think it kind of, by not wearing a mask, you're just undermining everyone else's well-being. Montana saw a 66% spike in cases in just the past two weeks. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Dr. William Schaffner joins me now. He is a professor of infectious disease at Vanderbilt University Medical Center, and he is also a member of the CDC Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. Dr. Schaffner, it's so great to have you. As I mentioned, you are part of that CDC advisory panel, uh, as I, I believe that actually decided not to include the frequent exposure group in its booster shot recommendations. Tell us why the committee